I've always had an interest in cooking. Growing up, my mother, she worked at a bank and she always tried to come home and make a home cooked meal for us. And I would go and behind her in the kitchen, I'm like, man, that smells really good. How did you get that? When I got out of the military, I uh, went to culinary school in Maryland and really got the interest of this Peruvian rotisserie chicken. My name is Rambir Bakshi. I'm one of the owners and founders of Alpaca Chicken. I took some of the things that I've, techniques that I learned in culinary school, and then we also traveled. I traveled a lot. We traveled a lot to Peru in order to get the, the recipe. We visit a lot of rotisseries in, in Peru until we came up to the testing and everything that my son did, Ramir. Basically, we experimented for about two years trying to get the perfect recipe. He's the one who really created that recipe. The pizzeria chicken was very popular. I came to North Carolina and I didn't see no even one restaurant of that. So that clicked the idea of opening our first rotisserie chicken in North Carolina. We opened in December 2007. And after two weeks of that, we had a fire. Around 11 o'clock, my mom called me uh, crying, saying, Ram beer and beer, the, uh, there's a fire. So it was very, very hard. And my heart stopped. I couldn't believe it. When we got there, the firefighters were there. They were trying to get into the building. Uh, smoke's coming out the, out, out the seams. That's something that's gonna stay in my mind all the time. It was definitely sad for everybody, but I think it just added to our resilience. We had no, no choice but to continue. My mom, she made it really clear that giving up wasn't an option. You know, you can do anything you want. And luckily, after a few weeks later, we were able to open up again in 2008. It's like a life, a life lesson. My name is Ruby Bakshi, and I'm one of the owners at Alpaca Chicken. After we opened the restaurant, I realized that there was a lot of opportunity um, in this market. So I went to culinary school for a little bit. I met my husband there, and that was the most I got out of it because then I transferred. <laughs> I transferred to NC State, and um, I got my bachelor's degree there in international studies. It's hard to work with your family because you have to separate those relationships that you're used to having. So it was kind of difficult at the beginning. As sometimes there's challenges working with family, uh, naturally, uh, especially in business. You kind of have to see and respect that person for what their position is in the company as opposed to what the familial relationship is. Because you have to see your children know such as your kids. They, they are my partners. Um, but I think for us, it's just we're so passionate about what we do and we really want to get it right. Um, but overall, it's a blessing to work with my, with my sister and my mother. So proud and thankful for having them as my children. My proudest moment, which was kind of like a phase, was just being able to retire my mom. She's worked very hard and to, to raise us, to raise her family, and to be a, a, a strong woman. I think a lot of children of immigrant parents really want to make sure that their parents are taken care of. So I'm very excited and very proud that, that she can take step back a little bit. So now she gets to babysit for me. Alpaca chicken is huge for us. I mean, it's our, it's our life. It's just grown with us. It's such a big part of our lives. And I feel like everything revolves around alpaca. It's a conversation that we have every single day about alpaca. It's my professional life. A lot of times it's my social life because people, you know, they always want to talk about alpaca, even in like social settings. Uh, we have nine locations. They are mostly throughout the Triangle, so... Raleigh, Durham... Sanford, Apex... Cary, Garner, and... Ready to open one in Nightdale as well. Uh, to be honest, sometimes I cannot believe it. I cannot believe how we have progressed, how far we have got until now. 
I don't know what the outcome or how many locations we'll have or how much we'll grow with Alpaca. I do, we, what we wanna do is make sure that we're taking care of our customers, that we are taking care of our staff. I would like to see Alpaca continue to not only grow, but stay strong. And I would like um, my kids and my nieces and nephews take over one day. <laughs> Lo veo creciendo como ahora y eh, esperando tener siempre la calidad de producto que estamos teniendo ahorita, manteniendo la buena relación con nuestros, con nuestros clientes y también con nuestros empleados. I feel confident that they are going to keep my sacrifice. That we can continue serving the best chicken that we can in town and exceeding our guest expectations.